Hello and welcome to Fax in Action YouTube channel. So here we got LG Phone X5 or LG Aristo 5. So let's get started. Click next, next. You have to connect it with internet or Wi-Fi connection in this section. So you have to put your Wi-Fi information. Once you connect it with your internet or Wi-Fi, click next. Just wait for it, it's just checking for updates. So don't copy anything. So right now we don't know, we forgot our patron lock. So let's click on use my Google account instead. So here in the email or phone box, click here. And you will see another keyboard will open. So here you will see in the down part, right down bottom part, you will see a small keyboard icon. So click on that. Here, press settings for the LG keyboard. So this have to be selected and press setting. And in this box, you will see here um, Gboard or Google Board. So click here and above that. So you will see another box here click here on the top right three dots and you will see help and feedback click on that so you will see a lot of options here so let's click on the first one which says about switch access for android so let's try with this share icon let's click on this one nothing happens so let's open this youtube video click on the center so here click on the switch access for android the text it will open up the youtube so here let's click on share let's see if we can get help from here Okay, let's go back. In the switch access for Android, you will see here this down arrow. Expand that. You will see here, learn more about switch access. It will open up the Chrome browser. Just accept that. Continue. Just make sure you have to have an internet access like at the beginning, um, you have to connect it with the internet so no thanks so directly right here quick shortcut maker apk so here we have to download this let's see let's download it from apk20.com let's see if this link works so i and you will see here download apk from apk 20 the yellow box click on that these are the ads just close the ad and it's telling you yes install that or download that so now open that once it's downloaded settings let's give permission yes go back now install you can pause the video if you if you think i'm too fast so now open this okay so in this part uh, we have to find something like lock screen or anything like that let's see google we don't want to go to the home name or home selector because it's gonna go back to the main activation screen again or setup user let's see lock screen settings okay in the lock screen settings now you have to find let's see let's click on the last one which said lock screen settings or secure lock screen try okay go back no luck with this one Let's click on this one, the second last, nothing. Let's go back, the third one, nothing. Let's go back, the fourth one, 
Okay, still need to use remote. No, we don't want to use the remote one. Okay, let's fourth one. Oh, yeah, we did this one, the fifth one. Okay, so here set up only patron pen. Yes, so we have to set the patron. This draw like you again, you. Okay, let's go back. Let's see if we have another screen lock option. I think it should be fine. Yeah, nothing happens. Nothing happens. Okay, so it should be good. You can either restart the device or go back to the main screen. So let's restart the device. I think it should be good to restart the device. So I hope this video helped you out guys and if it really helped you so please don't forget to like share and subscribe for more videos. So this phone is LG Fortune 3 also. So you can either have a LG Phonix 5 or LG Aristo 5 or LG K300 or LG Fortune 3. So all these models should work with this method. okay so now it will come back to the screen so here we can draw our new patron again and we can see so we have bypassed the the first lock screen or the screensaver so let's press next so it have to be connected with wi-fi let's see next in the new patron that we draw so we have to redraw that again don't copy anything so here draw again that's it so now you're you can sign in with your new google account or you can just skip it for a minute and you can reuse your device without any google account or any issue just wait for a few more steps and you should be good to go so I hope you like this video guys and if you have any question please let us know in the comment section and please don't forget to like share and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.